Hello everyone, welcome back to Edimon Tutorials. This will be the last lecture in our unit 2 where we will be covering the remaining topics. So myself Sohana Dumatoti and let's get started. So at first we will see other logic operations. Generally for two variables x, y we have seen uh, like two boolean functions which is x dot y and x plus y which is a end gate and an or gate commonly. Okay, but in general, we have 2 power 2 n functions for n binary variables. That means if we consider n to be 2, like uh, if it's only two variables like x and y, we have 16 possible Boolean functions, but we are only aware of these two Boolean functions. So what are all those other Boolean functions? Now you can see the truth table. Uh, I have drawn it in a very lengthy fashion. So don't get confused how I wrote everything in it, all of this. Now, for example, if you have x and y to have uh, these four values, this uh, values are ranging from f0 to f15. How are these values written? Like it's uh, written in the up, uh, upward to, uh, sorry, downward to the upward direction, like 0, 0, 0, and 0. For 1, it, uh, 1, 0, 0, and 0. And for 2, it is 0, 0, 1, 0. And for f3, it is 0, 0, 1, 1, and, and like this, it goes on. Okay, so in this way, I have filled the entire table. But how do we calculate the boolean expression for f0 f1 f2 and f3 like how do we uh, write those functions i have also listed them so for f0 or f0 it is a zero because all these values are a zero right so it is a zero and nothing named uh, it's nothing it's just a null now f1 uh, if you carefully observe the relation between these two like 0 dot 0 uh, is a zero 0 1 is 0 1 0 is a 0 1 1 is a 1 this clearly says that it is an end gate which is x dot y similarly for each and everything there is some particular fashion in which we cover the boolean functions so this is not the most important topic in this chapter you can usually skip this uh, this is not mostly asked but for your reference i am just giving how to calculate all the other logical operations you can uh, clearly see that like, like you can also check them. So for uh, f5, it is y. That means 0, 1, 0, 1. So for f5, it is 0, 1 and 0, 1. So that's a transfer of y. That operation is called as a transfer of y. So similarly for f6. So for f6, uh, if you just start comparing these values, like how these two are obtained, you will be getting to know that it's an xor. Similarly, pause the video and uh, just analyze what are all the possible uh, Boolean functions. Now, in this chapter, we have our next topic to be digital logic gates. Uh, if you just uh, go on to the previous video, like uh, unit 1 uh, starting videos, I have given an entire brief description on digital logic gates. So there's nothing to worry in that. All the required fundamentals are already covered. So there's nothing new in this particular topic. So with this, we have completed our unit 2. In the next lesson, we will be covering few more topics like combinational logic, design and gate level minimization. Till then, stay tuned to Edumon. Thank you.